welcome back to your feel good breakfast show rob just just made it for this segment uh, we enticed him Amazing. into being part of our entertainment news segment because he loves it so so much so awesome. <laughs> but what let's see what's happening on the about? international front okay. well you know what we may never be royal but there are certain people who are royal the queen has chosen the duchess of cambridge to take over as her wimbledon patron in the year that she turns 90 now although the queen has attended wimbledon wimbledon rather on only four occasions the last one having been in 2010 she's held the role of patron for 64 years she doesn't stop there she's mm. handing over more mm. sports patronages uh, she's handing over the rugby football union to prince harry um, and of course in other royal news kate is going to be doing her very first solo tv interview in six years of course wow. the last one she was doing was when she had uh, when she became engaged so this is all ahead of the queen's 90th birthday but i think kate's going to do really well she is the lady of the moment right now don't you just love her fascinating hey fascinating i just stuff. wonder what it means when you're like the, the royal patron of the of wimbledon. you just sit there i think the queen's passed it on to her because at yeah. wimbledon She's scared you might die of boredom. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, seeing as though she's only gone like four times in the last couple of years. Well, <laughs> someone that I don't think we can die of boredom of is Kanye West because oh, he is somebody that just does things in an over-the-top way every single time. Now, you know his new album, Waves. He's decided that he's going to launch it in the biggest way possible at Madison Square Garden on February the 11th. And uh, that's not the only thing. He's also going to be making sure that he releases all of this via satellite as well to certain cinemas all around the world oh. unfortunately south africa is not one of them so unfortunately you're not going to be what? able to see that what <laughs> kanye no mir no mir well anyways oh. i've got another news some more news for you um it's it's all about going in one direction harry style celebrated turning 22 yesterday by quoting his ex-girlfriend Taylor Swift. Now the internet, including you. us, uh, lost its mind. Uh, he, he, wrote, he wrote on the internet, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Isn't it that song? Yeah, oh, I know. Oh my goodness, wow. It's just so much shade. I think, so I think awesome they should all just... Harry. I feel like I'm wearing one of those make your old suits you guys were talking the, about. The one that I makes you 40 like years older? I'm 40 years older <laughs> than I actually am, which is already old. So oh, Harry, man. nice. Well done, well done. <laughs> But anyway, right now, uh, it's time for us to reflect on uh, something that happened very recently. South Africa's sexiest man was crowned, and unbelievably so, it wasn't Robin Fearon or I. What? 